Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for your website that is running on an open light speed web server. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get on into the tutorial here. And we're gonna be working with my website called site1.xyz. It's just running, you know, a basic theme, 2020 theme here. Not much going on. Um, and as you can see, it is not secure right now because we don't have an SSL certificate installed. So in order to install an SSL certificate, we're gonna use Let's Encrypt. It issues free SSL certificates um, through an automated manner using CertBot. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. What we wanna do is to log into our server via SSH. My server is at this IP address. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is do an apt get install cert bot. Okay, like I said, cert bot is what's gonna enable us to um, ask Let's Encrypt for that SSL certificate, verify that we own a domain name and issue that certificate to us. So that's done installing. And um, I because we there's multiple different ways we can do this, but I'm just gonna paste in a command here and we'll walk through it to show you what's going on here. So. We're gonna execute the certbot command. We're, we're, we're gonna request the certificate only. That's what cert only means. Um, and that's the reason we're doing that is because this isn't Nginx, this isn't Apache. If it was, we could tell certbot to specifically install the certificate for us directly, like without any configuration, because it knows where those, um, those servers are. But certbot doesn't directly support open light speed, so we have to do a little bit of manual configuration. So um, that's why we have to specify the web root for our website. And the web root for us, and uh, by default, should be at user local LSWS, and then whatever the name of your virtual host is. For me, it's example. And then I have all of my HTML, CSS, JavaScript content, specifically the WordPress installation inside a subdirectory in there called WordPress. So that's why you see that full path to my web root. And then dash D is short for domain or domains. And you can supply a comma separated list of domains. And like you saw, it, this is site one. So we want an SSL certificate for site1.xyz and www.site1.xyz. So if that makes sense, go ahead and change the values for your case, and then we can go ahead and hit enter. And this is going to ask us for our email address, and this is for renewal notification. So I'm gonna type in my email address. So Tony at Tony teaches.tech. Um, do you agree with our terms of service? Yes. Do you want them to send you additional emails? Not really. And now it, um, the reason we gave it the path to our web root is so that Let's Encrypt can actually verify that you own that domain name. So it's, it's I'm guessing it's putting some type of file um, in your web root temporarily while it verifies that. And then if it sees that file from its perspective on the outside, then it can assume that you own that domain name at a certain level. So that's what we're waiting on here. We're waiting for that verification. Uh, to go through and it usually doesn't take this long, but because it is taking long, oh, no, I was gonna pause the video, but it's it's done, so we're good to go. We don't have to pause anything. Um, you can see here that your certificate and chain have been saved at this directory, the etc, let's encrypt live site1.xyz full chain.pem directory here. So I'm just gonna copy that. And um, your key is at that same directory just called privekey.pem. Okay, so that's great. Let's go into our web uh, console for open light speed and tell it about these certificate files, okay? Because at this point, you just have some certificates sitting on your server. We have to tell our web server about them. So We'll leave this in the background. We'll go back to our web browser. And I already have my um, Lightspeed Web Admin Console open here. And let's go ahead and um, do what I just said. Let's go ahead and tell Open Lightspeed about these certificate files. So we can do that by going into our listeners section. And um, the, the one thing, uh, depending, it depends on how you have your ser server set up. You might, uh, if you're like me, you probably only have a listener for port 80, which is HTTP unsecure, um, but we wanna set up a listener first for HTTP requests over port 443. So let's go ahead and make a new listener here. So we'll add a listener 
I'm going to call this, um, we'll just call it HTTPS. And any IP address is good. Port 443, that's important for SSL. And this, yes, this is a secure um, listener. So let's go ahead and save that. So that's good. Uh, now we have a listener for HTTPS. Let's view this and it looks good. You have this tab over here for SSL. That's where we want to tell um, the listener about the, the certificate and the key. So in here under this first section, we can edit that. And uh, I copied the path to the certificate file. So I'll paste that in. And then I'm going to uh, pull up the terminal window here. And just so we don't make any mistakes, I'm going to copy the path to the private key and paste that into the private key area here. Um, this is a chain certificate. So we can click yes radio button for chain certificate. And then we'll go ahead and save this, save these changes. Okay, so we now have an SSL listener, a listener that's secure. We next need to associate that listener with our website. So we can do that back in the listeners page. If we click on the listener for HTTPS, view it, we wanna map um, our example website, which is site1.xyz with that virtual host. So let's click the example and we'll give it the domain site1.xyz and we'll save that. And now we have associated with this listener um, site1.xyz. So basically that listener is going to just sit there. We wait for requests to come over the port 443. And if the domain name matches site one, it's going to go ahead and enable that to serve the page, that, that website to serve the page. So um, I think we're good to go here. As it says up here, let's restart the server to apply these changes. So you can click on this green circular arrow here to restart the open light speed server. And now let's go back over to um, our WordPress website. And this time let's go to HTTPS colon slash slash site one dot XYZ hit enter. And we see that we get that lock icon. And if we click on it, look at the certificate, it says that uh, it was issued by Let's Encrypt and it expires um, pretty much three months from now. So that's good. That's exactly what we set up to do. Um, there's a couple other things, a couple other optional configuration options. Um, right now we still have our HTTP version of our website. So if we get rid of that S, this website still works. You might want to redirect all traffic from HTTP to HTTPS. So let's go ahead and do that next. In order to do that, we can go back into our web admin console for open light speed. And what we want to do in here is go to our virtual hosts. And um, the website that we're interested in is the, the virtual host example. And in here, we want to go to the rewrite section up top here and set some rewrite rules down here. And I'll use my cheat sheet over here to, um, and, and basically all we're doing is modifying, <clears throat> excuse me, modifying our HT access file. So this might look familiar to you. Um, we're basically gonna take all HTTP traffic and send it over to HTTPS. So let's go ahead and save those changes and refresh, restart the server again and hit okay. And when that's finished, we can come back over here. And now um, if we refresh this page or, you know, if we explicitly go to HTTP colon slash slash site one dot X, Y, Z, it should redirect us to the HTTPS version and we should see that lock icon. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit enter. And that's exactly what happened. So that, that website is not accessible anymore. The HTTP version of our website is not accessible anymore. Um, there's one other optional configuration uh, option that you might wanna do, and that is just to completely get rid of, disassociate the this website with the, um, the unsecure listener. So to do that, you would just come back over here to your listeners. And before we had this uh, under the default listener, whoops, I don't wanna delete it. <laughs> Under the default listener, we have example um, site1.xyz still associated with that. Simply just get rid of that and that uh, delete it, yes, and then doesn't ask us to restart it, but I'll just restart it anyway. Go try it out. That HTTP website is not accessible anymore. So that's um, how you install an SSL certificate with Let's Encrypt on an open light speed server. 
And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you want to see some other videos about open light speed configuration options and all that stuff, check out one of these videos over here and subscribe to this channel. If you do, I'll see you in the next one.